So I am out in Chicopee, Massachusetts at a foreclosure auction at the house right behind me. And we're going to go run some numbers uh, before the auction and come up with a bidding strategy. So I thought I'd take you guys with us and let's get to it. Running numbers, uh, the first thing we always do is we look at other sold comps in the area. So we're looking at the neighborhood um, and we can all say hi to Naya. Naya! Hey Naya, say hi. It's a good girl. That's a good girl. So yeah, so we, uh, since we have access to the MLS, we often use that and look for comps. So now we're looking at this thing here. It's a three bedroom, one bath, about 1200 square foot ranch style house. So we are looking for other sold comps in the area that were renovated. So what's good, because we're gonna renovate this thing. We wanna find things that has sold recently, ideally in the last six months, if not even uh, less than that, three months would be even better. Uh, and what did they sell for? Were they renovated? Are they similar age? So yeah, it's really important that you make sure you find uh, very similar style houses. That's the, one of the biggest things. Uh, ranches are sell very differently than a colonial or a cape. So in this case here, um, I found a few properties within a 0.3 mile radius of this you know, property that sold recently that were fully renovated. I mean, I didn't see the roof. I think the roof was, uh, they were actually probably not, probably the roof, but they were in good shape. Um, so we were, you know, based on that, you know, looking at the comps, we're coming up with an ARV on the sucker of around $300,000. Maybe 310, I uh, could push it a little bit. I'm hoping to get a little bit more insight right here now. If I can see inside a little bit more, I might be able to have a better idea if there's anything I can bump it up a little bit more. Maybe there's more square footage somewhere that doesn't currently have a heat source and I can add the heat source, stuff like that. So the next thing after you have your ARV, you really wanna look at, so it's occupied. So we're gonna subtract some costs for that. So we typically you know, add in at least $5,000 to take off of that ARV um, for getting the person out, whether it be cash fees, whatever. After that, right, we're looking at, uh, let's just say rehab. So you're looking at for your rehab budget, you know, we're figuring, okay, we got some fence work that's dated, obviously a decent amount of landscape, so I'm gonna throw a few thousand dollars at that. That roof is an older three tab. Let me zoom in real quick with you. So you can see that roof is definitely older. It does appear, and I'll get a little closer, it looks like it might be one layer. In Massachusetts, at least, you're allowed to go uh, two layers uh, so we could just do what's called a go over to save a little bit of money. Uh, so your numbers might be different in your area on what the you know, contractors charge. But, you know, I'm looking also at the siding. Uh, when I got a little closer, it was some broken siding. Uh, also, you can see the window sh um, shutters are just garbage that's going to go. But then it's going to be uh, the siding underneath isn't going to look good. So I'm probably going to reside. It was white. Um, the garage door, if I recall correctly, was also something needing it done the driveway doesn't look bad save the driveway the door the windows are older so that's probably going to get need to be updated the garage door doesn't look bad the gutters are older i will replace the gutters update lighting since i didn't get inside yet uh, but i'm going to try to figure out um some condition based on the outside that's not super well kept i'm guessing we're gonna see probably uh hardwood floors but they're probably dated and they need to be sanded and polyed um, based on the age of the house, it's probably sheetrock, so it's not horse or plaster, um, but that will still probably need maybe some repairs, paint, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then the kitchen's probably going to be dated. I'm assuming a full new kitchen, so I'm probably throwing like six, seven thousand dollars at that. The bathroom's going to need to be updated, uh, so I'm going to throw probably five thousand dollars at that. Um, the heating system, so and Chickabee, it has municipal electric. So there's a good chance it might be electric heat and it's really cheap, so it makes sense there. So that's really good. Um, and so that's something that, you know, it, because I understand the town, I'm fine with going with that as a cost for possible um, heating source. Typically I wouldn't in most towns because it's just really expensive and it does actually kind of affect the value of the house. Um, ideally we can get in here to obviously maximize would be a central air system. So a forced air system, gas with central air. Uh, if not, you can always go with mini splits. That's kind of a newer thing that people have been doing a lot. It's not as attractive, um, but you can definitely do a mini split system, especially with the smaller square footage of this house. Um, so, you know, figure out what those costs are in your area. But basically, so you've got your rehab. So I'm taking my rehab off of that. And then I'm also figuring out some closing costs. You're always going to have closing costs. So there's going to be some taxes owed. In this case, there's about $2,000 in taxes owed on this one. 
There's gonna be some stamps fees. There's gonna be also some other fees like your lawyer costs, all that kind of stuff for closing. Um, so these are things you're gonna have to factor in, take that off, all right? So now after all that, you're also gonna have a commission. So that's something else to consider. So if I'm gonna sell this for 300,000, I don't know what you've negotiated, but I generally negotiate about, I forgot around 4% that I'm paying in commissions to my agent uh, and if possibly a buyer or broker as well. So a total of 4%. So I take that off as well. Now I come back and I just try to figure out what kind of um, profit I'm looking to make. I take that out. And then that right there is my maximum bid number. So that's how I come up with it. That's how we do every single auction. Uh, that's the kind of the process and uh, we'll walk you through some more of these properties too So make sure you stay tuned if you have any questions about these Let me know like each one, you know, if you have a specific question leave a comment below I'll try to answer all the questions uh, Now I'm gonna go walk and maybe we'll see if I can take some more footage uh, And see if I can get you guys some more information so Just taking a little look I see oh, I can see this overground pool Backyard Not bad shape, but uh, You know, obviously the fence needs some work the older windows, yeah, electric meter, uh, trees seen better days. The bank's bid is 125,139.40 cents. Bank has it at 125,139.40. Do I hear 120, 130? 126? What, 126? <laughs> You know, wow. <laughs> Matthew has it at 126,000. Do I hear 127? 127 for Nick. Nick has it at 127. Do I hear 128? 128. Matthew has it for 128. 129. All right, you're getting your number. 130, okay? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Nick has it for 129, doing it 130. 130. 131. 131. How about 135? 135. I'll see you jump there. Let's jump there. Yeah, it's hot out. Exactly. Move, move along. Uh -huh. I got things to do. Do I hear 140? I got time. 140? <laughs> Matthew has it for 135. 140. 136. 136, he says. Nick has it for 136. Matthew. 138. Ooh, Take that, Nick. Take that, Nick. Come on. 138. <laughs> Come on. 138. Matthew has it for 138. Do I hear 140? 139. 139. <laughs> you know. These kids. <laughs> 140? 140. <laughs> Matthew has it for 140. So next time we get here, just go way up. Let me change paper. Is that how it works? And we'll go down and we'll start bidding down? Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah. All right, Matthew has it for 140. 141. 142. Matthew has it at 142. How about 143. You're going to be there in a minute. <laughs> Nick has it for 143. 144. I wasn't paying attention. For 145. 146. You guys are making me work. Yeah, I mean, come on. I did jump for a while. It's I Nick's fault. I blame Nick. 147. 145. 150. <gasps> Whoa! That's a serious bidder. <laughs> Do I hear 151? I'll do 151. 152. 152. Nick? What's the current, Nick? 152. 152. Pay attention. <laughs> Matthew has it for 152. Do so I hear 153? I'll do 153. 153? Yeah. 154. <laughs> 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 You're costing grand. 000. What the fudge? 55,000. Do I hear 156,000? Out. 
once, twice, sold. Boom! $155,000 to you.